Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for more Hearts of Iron 3. I'm your host, Galen. Okay, so we're making progress all around. There. You guys will be moving there next. You guys here. And the rest of you guys here. Good. Alright. So with any luck, the extra supply line that we've built will be helpful. Uh, you guys. Hold. Um... Let's just take the mountains. Mountain dudes. And bring them to actually fight in the mountains. Okay. It's just hills, so not quite mountain level bonuses here. Alright. Like, I, I feel like if I just press for Hamhung or something, I can break it. But I, at the same time, don't want to do something stupid that ends up killing a bunch of my troops. Or getting them captured or whatever the hell ends up actually happening to them. Recovery everywhere is slow. Which isn't surprising. What's going on here? I don't know, but I like it. Press our attack. Haha. Boom. Boom. Good. Good. Okay. You guys are gonna head south now. You're gonna be our uh, break across the Korean mountains, dudes. Because they're our best shot through. Whoa. Old. Yeah, they're moving their troops around, really trying to hold up here. I think they're trying to get troops down here. Which will not be enough to save them. Alright. First aid advances are always nice. Hey. So yeah, our nearest airfield that we can do with that, I guess, reliably... Is here. I hate it, but I can't. There's just no airfields <laughs> that I can use that wouldn't compromise the supply line, which is already pretty rough. And I don't want to do much about that. Alright. So we have our first two wings of interceptors hot off the production line. As a simple rule, you never have more than four planes, uh, ever. Because the stacking penalty for planes is stupid in that it actually starts at one plane. I don't know why. It is rather quite silly. Don't worry, they'll... they'll even if they fall. It's, it's like, hi. Fuck you. It's, we're coming through. And you can't stop us. Alright. Really gonna make us do this again, huh? Yeah, there they they had kept moving a bunch of their troops all around. Luckily, we're in good supply here. Pyongyang, we can get uh, potentially supplies through for that if we were make it. Run, uh, whatever this is. Queen Dao to Pyongyang. It's another potential supply route through again. Where our our biggest issue has been supplies so far, uh, which makes me think that I really need to increase target priority of the ports. All right. Yeah, 
Okay. We're gonna try and uh, get these guys through. You. Head down here. Try and secure us Pyongyang. Excellent. Researching a bunch of tech here. What I like to see. So, now we can research that. 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 Uh, we don't need multi rolls. We'll need air launch torpedoes, though. It's 1939. We need to start researching our infantry improvements. Alright. Come on, push it to Pyongyang. Let's go. Alright, any chance it's a decent port? Level 6, I like it. Uh, yeah, so we'll ship whatever we can through Pyongyang. Okay, so where is it coming from? Qingdao. I have to auto-maintain that occasionally, I guess. Great Supply Convoy. Qingdao to Pyongyang. There we go. There. That will create more supply relief. Which is what we are in desperate need of right now. Alright, we want to try and force them to rout. They just keep sending more troops there every time. Guarantee the independence of Poland. So I hear things aren't going so well over there, huh? Okay. That's fine. You know what? You guys just sit there. We've already widened the front considerably, which is pulling troops off of everywhere else. Like, to the point where they will eventually break. Like, we can break this easily, I'd bet. Double attack. Boom. Which means you can attack. Unfortunately, you can't win. <laughs> uh, remember, attacking isn't just winning. Not good there. Alright. Well, either way, uh, I mean, we took Pyongyang as a port. That uh, will help us dearly. And to make things even better, we did manage to take part of the Korean Peninsula. Again, the, most of this is mountains and three infrastructure. Like, this is a choke point for supplies. We've seen this before. This isn't the first time I've had to use supply warfare to win. Because, you know, superior tactics will win at you the day in the end. A lot of the time. You can find. I might manage to beat that. Excellent. Uh, make that a sporting attack there. There you go. The flank is wider. Okay, they're retreating pretty much. Okay. So things are going normal over in Europe, I guess. Yeah, normal as normal can be. You know? Alright. In the meantime, things are going pretty well here. I'd say. Yeah, they've even had to pull, like, all their troops off this line up here. <laughs> they don't have shit up here anymore. They can't afford to have shit up here. They're out of dudes. They're just out of dudes. I've widened the front to the point where only I have enough dudes. This is what I was going for the whole time. Sort of secretly hoping I could pull it off, too. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, you know what? You there. There we go. Push. Alright, fall back. Don't overdo it now. Okay. Again, 
We cut them deep. And we hit their supplies. Um... This is adjacent to Hamhung, so they can still get troops. Uh, so yeah, it's a too wide supply corridor at this point. Their army up here shouldn't have shit. By the looks of it, they don't, and they've just reduced their numbers to match the amount of supplies they can get through. Which is, again, shit and all, so... Great. We need to make it up here. If we can get to Harbin, uh, we win Manchukuo. And then after that, it comes a weird fight in Korea. Which I'm not wholly certain as to who wins, or how to win it, or if it can even be won. But, I can say for certain that my goal remains the same. We need to try and force them to widen their front. Good. Uh, I'm going to call more troops down here. Since we have some fares. Again, you know, just a little bit more of a push. Just a little bit more of a push here. Hell, if we, if we manage to succeed here, which we might. Uh, Republican Spain enforced. Uh, Republican Spain won the Civil War. Good for them. Alright, it's now a one wide supply corridor. Well, it was. <laughs> I'm not sticking around that, though. I ain't dumb. I ain't dumb enough to try that. Okay. But we'll push here. They have counterattacks everywhere, and a lot of bombers to back up their counterattacks. But, that's okay. Okay. Well, no, we need to take Hamhung to seal the deal. There. Okay, we've cut their supplies. Unfortunately, it's not going to last long, but that's okay. And what's inefficient right now? A whole lot of things. Okay. Uh, medium fuel tank is one of them. First aid. I have to go through like this, I think, at this point. Um, medium bomb, twin engine airframe. Sure. Light bomb, single engine aircraft armament, and cold oil. Okay. Light bomb development, single engine airframe, and coal to oil. Good. In other news, since it is 1940-ish, don't mind if I do. Okay. Uh, also, radars. Radios. Radio detection equipment. Go. Yeah, there. They are thin up here. Um, like thin enough, I'm probably gonna make it. Have one stay behind. Make the attack. Go. I don't know why I let that attack go on as long as I did. That was foolish of me. Alright. That's fine. We've managed to throw them into disarray, which is what we were going for. No supplies. The AI is shitting itself. It has no idea what to do. Can you blame it? Yeah, they've got their tiny little corridor. Enough to maybe get a few supplies through. But we both know how little they'll actually manage. Did I not command a full-scale offensive at this location? No? Okay. Can we not get over the river? I think we can get over the river here. It's not a problem. 
We'll leave one behind. So hold on. Again, we'll leave one behind. Their attempt to slow us down will not be enough. And one just has to get to Harlan now. Yeah, this river has proven uh, troubling to cross. But it doesn't really matter. Because we just annexed all this. So, Japan. This is awkward, huh? Boy, uh, this is going to be one of those times where things are just going to be so chaotic that it would take me forever to get things done. So, I'm going to give the, it over to the AI for a moment and just let it blitz, uh, which should keep them contained and more or less taken care of. Because if it were me, I would just let things through all over the goddamn place. <laughs> Not worth it. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff, everybody. All right, we have a decent amount of resources stockpiled that I really need to start using. But I don't even have aircraft carrier tech yet. I want to move that up. The problem is I also don't know what the hell to produce. I think I produce infrastructure. I'm not certain, though. Hard to say. Either way, with the Imperial Japanese Army and the chaos it now is in, I think we win. <laughs> just, just wildly throwing it out there that we just won this uh, this war. Nationalist China is now of a grand size. Okay, so let's say Japan is still willing to make peace, which surprisingly enough they are. Um, the problem is I don't get Taiwan. And you know what? I'm probably not going to get Taiwan for a long time. It might be wise for me to just make the peace now. Because I walk away, I get this stuff. Is, is there anything even in this area that I would want? No. <laughs> yeah, I can share. It just connects me to Manchuka, which has a few things. Um, then again, maintaining perpetual war is surprisingly effectively useful for various reasons of industry. So yeah, now I'm just letting the AI clean up. It's easier. Twin engine aircraft armament, small fuel tank, and single engine airframe. Cool. We need to cut down anyway. Okay. Like, we do have a lot of leadership now. Uh, with 24. That's comparable to most major powers. So I don't mind that at all. Uh, however, I want to cancel that. I forgot. You, I, I personally do not ever use uh, aero engine research. Like, this is just me. Uh, because it decreases their range. And I prefer range over speed. It does give some decent air defense, though. It's tempting since I'll be using interceptors a lot. Or will try to be using interceptors a lot. Alright. We're going to see what... like. That's, yeah, that's out of their range, isn't it? That's their range. <sighs> yeah. And again, about how fuel tanks, uh, how I hate aero engine as a result of, you know, that. <laughs> yeah. It's extremely awkward to get things done. Once you get drop tanks, though, hmm, it's good stuff. All right. But hey, you know, we can technically build air escort carriers. I have no intention of doing so, though. It'll be a while before I even consider it. Like, I want to be ready to attack America. So we're probably going to think around 41. Yeah. They're trying to form some kind of coherent front, which is obviously not going to work in the slightest. All right. So I'm just going to let the AI, like I said, I'm just letting the AI have it. Yeah, I knows what to do at this point. It's, however, uh, let's get these guys attached to some things. Uh, 
Uh, that way they'll behave properly. And we'll help in various attacks as we slowly move to conquer Korea. Okay. Yeah, we aren't using all of our research. No surprise on that. This is not enough for me to research right now. Uh, operational level organization. Yeah, we could use some infantry warfare. All this stuff. Sorry, officers. <laughs> oh, yes, it's August. That means we're, what, a month away? From the uh, start of the Second World War in Europe. I mean, there's no way Japan's actually going to fight me here, are they? They're losing a lot more troops. I would have figured they'd be falling back, but... Hey, air launch torpedoes, everybody. Sweet. I forget, uh... But these... Yeah, no. Didn't think so. Those aren't of any real use. Eh, uh, well. So yeah, air launch torpedo tech. Which is important. For a lot of reasons. Mostly... Ooh, strategic bombers might help. Uh, mostly because they affect the CAGs. Uh, which are very important, since that's, you know, a carrier's attack power. It's basically like researching carrier guns. Alright. We're having a lot of problems pushing them to, to a final victory. Hmm... Yeah, it's uh, not looking good for a final victory thing. It may just be best that I walk away right now. Yeah, it is. Like, they cede everything to me except for Taiwan, which I would like. But, I mean, hey, real China can't get Taiwan anyway, so... Whatever. Ah, well, this is gonna do it. So, without further ado, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin. No, I, I can't. I can't. I, everything against me wants to not make peace right now, because I think I can still, you know, push down Korea and win. I'm just like, uh, this is not worth it. Since when the fuck is Sinka Ying in the coming turn? Damn, I was hoping to kill him and take their shit. <laughs> Possibly also Mongolia and Tanutava. <laughs> We'll see, though. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.